Welcome back to Science with Greg, with Actually Greg. So last week, my microphone broke. It's 20 quid. It's in that box, it's shit, and it's dead. So I decided to build my own. I could have used XLR, I didn't. This means I can plug into guitar pedals and make funky sounds. So guitar cable-ish input. This is telephone, because telephones, you speak into them. Inside you have a piezo element, which I'm not sure if this is what you listen to or what you speak into because they're essentially the same thing. You sort of look at where this lead is going, and it's these red and green pins here. But unfortunately, they're these plastic, tiny little wires that you can't do anything with. So we're just gonna take them off because we don't need them and we don't care about them. So you just snip those off. We don't care about this lead. We're gonna get rid of it. Basically, this entire cable is useless to us. We don't want it. I'm getting rid of it. Okay. Oh, you mean the actual, just the original lead? Just all of it. That went into the, the uh, landline? Yeah, so we just don't want that. We're removing the landline. Okay, I get it now. So now you have your phone and I've taken off the lead. We have these two inputs of where it used to go, red and green. If all you want is mono, which is what you should want, then just any connection that has positive and negative, just connect it to that and you're good to go. I stole a cattle lead from a cattle, then I put a guitar cable ish input on the end and I soldered it all together just straight to the metal point and then you plug it in. What metal point? Oh, where the actual... These two, just exactly where they went. These two on the end, red and green. Oh, the ones that are actually on the end of the uh, landline cable. Yeah. Exactly. So you just follow that cable into the phone and wherever it ends up you connect the positive and negative to those two. Yeah. How do you know which is positive and negative? Well, you just do whatever. Plug it in. If it sounds bad, switch them over. Okay. So, to test it, I'm going to use a DD3 digital delay to spice it up because I got it for Christmas. Just the input and the output, and then the output goes to my amp, stuff and things. Oh, bloody hell. Can you sing into it? Yes. I just admit, must admire my entire day. They match data as far as you wake. Lip six six, you face, you throw it hitting women's in the taste, very jinx, they do a new level of thick and light day, which is microscopic, your conscious pathetic, my conscious epic. Try rap battle me, mate, forget it. How about that? God, it's really like tinny as fuck. Yeah. Actually, it sounds it sounds like the a walkie-talkie and like Well the pilot in the Yeah. Mayday, mayday, this is flight seven three seven, we're going down. Some of them are doing my name, you will see 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 my So like, if you EQ'd that and properly processed it, it's low fi as fuck and it will sound good Yeah. if you do things to it. Okay. As it is, there's a bunch of noise, but maybe you want that if you're in certain genres. Yeah. It's very high pass filter, mm -hmm. but that again might be what you want. Yeah. So it has its application. Yeah. But it's still... To preference. <laughs> it's, it's an acquired taste. So, yeah. Okay, lovely. Yes. 